you guys before we get into this video i just want to show you guys this t-shirt that i have on it says innocent blood stained hearts and this shirt was created and designed by she Bloss nicole and this is this design with the blood splatter on the shirt was inspired by those mothers who have lost their child for example George Floyd was an individual as he was losing his life, he called out for his mother. And we are standing in support with those mothers who have lost their child. So if you are standing in support with us as we support the mothers who have lost their child to innocent blood, like lost their child through innocent violence, senseless violence, and they were really not at far. They really shouldn't have taken it that, that far or took it to that place. Come and stand with us. She Blossom Nicole has come up with this great message behind this shirt. You can go to her website, www.sheblossom.com, and purchase you an Innocent Blood Stain Heart t-shirt. If you want to support us and support those mothers who have lost their children, and especially their sons, to sisters gun violence. Thank you. Hey, what is up, y'all? You already know that it is your girl, Asia C. Coming to you live straight from the 216. Hey, what is up, y'all? You already know that it is your girl, Asia C. Coming to you live straight from the 216. And today is Vlogmas Day 17, y'all. 17. I know I forgot in yesterday's video to say that it was Vlogmas Day 16. Sometimes when I'm out and about and I'm moving, I forget. But y'all, it's Vlogmas Day 17. And today I just want to give you guys some tips. Some tips about being depressed and being sad during the holidays so let's get straight into this video y'all i wanted to do this video because i understand that there are people out there who feel alone during the holidays who are depressed and i want to tell you guys to write out your decision write out your vision i'm sorry write out what you want to experience in your life especially even during the holidays write it out there are some of you who may be feeling alone like you don't have any family you don't have a significant other. You're not getting gifts on these holidays. Or you're feeling like you have a mom and a dad around, but they're not giving you giving you gifts or buying you anything of that nature. So you are feeling so depressed and you're feeling alone. I just want to encourage you to write about it. Write about what you want in life. Write about what you want to do with yourself. For example, I have written out some things that I want to do in my life. Like, I have written out my book selling. So, my goal was to sell out of my books within the first six months, right? So, I so I broke that down and, I, and that was my goal. That was my vision. That was something I kept speaking about. That was something that was in my mouth all the time. That was something I had even been planting seed and kept speaking into existence. And before I knew it, I'm already more than halfway out i have ordered i had ordered a hundred books i now have 10 15 books left so and it's only been three months i have had my book out since october october november and it's now december three months so i have reached that goal already but that's because i wrote out my vision and i believe what i wrote out about my book and you can do the same you can do that with every situation i am doing that now with something new was something new that I'm believing that's happening for me in my life in 2021. I have written that vision out. And I believe you can do the same. I want to encourage you to do the same. Write the vision, make it plain. That's one thing that I really wholeheartedly believe in. God had gave me that scripture when I was writing up my business vision and mission and those different things like that. And he said, write the vision, make it plain. And that's something that you can do as well if it worked for me i know it can work for you the only way that it won't work if you don't believe if you don't believe if you if you just get in doubt and you stay in doubt and you believe the doubt more than you believe the vision that you wrote out for your life sometimes i know what's happening around us may look different 
our family members and our mom and our father may really be acting hate, um, hateful towards us or mean towards us and not give us anything or they really may, may be those parents that may not care or you know you may not have that you really may not have a significant other at the time during this holiday and you really don't have that person that you can talk to physically but at the end of the day you need to still speak what you want speak what you want in your life call it forth bring it forth your words bring life to the situation so call forth the life call forth i will have a significant other call forth a healing and amending in your relationship with your mom or your father or whoever you may live with call it forth even if they don't come and and i'm not saying to call it forth and to make them change just to make them change which them changing could be great but also call forth your healing in your heart that regardless of what even if they still choose not to get it together even if they still your significant other still may choose not to come just yet or you may not have met that individual just yet you still have a wholeness within you so even when you're writing, think about how you want to be whole individually within yourself without other people validating you, without your family buying you gifts during this time validating you, without you feeling like I need to have me a man or a woman right there with me to validate you. You can be whole and heal and still not have that significant other your wholeness will call for your significant other your wholeness will call for your mother and father to come in your life or to call for that mother and father like figure to come into your life and be that even though your biological parents may not be that way or even if you have siblings and family members or whatever the case may be write out your vision write what you want to see Write what you want to experience in life. Write out your change that you desire. Write out what's in your heart. And this could be your own personal journal. This could be something that you constantly pray and talk to God about. This could be something that you in your mind, in your heart, you're believing that you're doing it. And one thing after you write it out, live your life like what you wrote. Live your life out like what you wrote. So if you wrote, I'm whole and my husband is coming or my wife is coming, conduct yourself as a husband or a wife. Carry yourself as a husband or a wife. If you're calling for your parents to come into that place and be that parent that you're asking them to be, that's when you conduct yourself still as a daughter or a son unto them, serving them, receiving them. Start respecting them even if they don't respect you. Be honorable to them even if they're not honoring you. Still do so, still do so. Start living yourself, living your life out the way that you are writing it out. Don't just let your writing be a fairy tale or a dream or an I wish. Let it be the I am. This is me. I become what I put on this pen and this paper. With this pen and in this paper. I bring what I wrote down to life. I become what I see. I become what I desire. I become what I want during this time. Right now you can start because I understand this, like, this is a depressing time. There are people who kill themselves around this holiday time. People hanging themselves, committing suicide, shooting themselves, overdosing, and just all types of things. And it's taking their life away. And I want to get you to write about your life and the life you want to see. So that you don't take your precious life away. So, then you, so that you don't sit there and continue to believe that you are not valuable. That you are not you are not, how can I say this? That you are not precious to somebody. That you are not important. I don't want you to live your life like that. I want you to begin to live your life like you are worth it. You are worth living. You are worth breathing. You are worth it. And that's why I want to encourage you today. 
write write it out write it out write what you want to see don't write none of the negative that's happening right now we're starting a clean slate today we're going to write out what we really love and what we really like to see about ourselves i've done it like i gave you the example i've done it with my book i'm doing it now with something new you can do the same i encourage you all and i lock in with y'all i lock in with each and every individual out there that is asking God to heal them in this in this season, in this moment of their life. I lock in with you. I lock in with you that you will have the significant other that you are asking for and that you deserve. I am locking in with you that you will have that relationship with your mom and your dad. I am locking in with you that mom and dad, even if you feel like you don't have it, the money to provide for your children, that you come up with creative ideas to give your child the best Christmas, even if you don't have a lot of gifts under the tree. I'm locking in with you guys. I'm right here. I'm, I'm in it with y'all. I've been in that place where I just wanted to end my entire life. And both of my children were coming with me. They were coming with me. But when you write out what you want, it's a releasing that travels from your mind, that weight that travels from your heart onto that pen and onto that paper. It's, a, it's an exchange that happens when you write out your vision on that piece of paper. When you write out who you want to be, who you want, what you want to see, and what you know you deserve. Alright, you guys? So I just want to encourage you guys today and tell you guys, write it out. Don't be depressed. Don't sit in it. Don't cry. I mean, yeah, have your tears, but don't just soak in it. Write about it. Set your atmosphere to right. Put your music on. Whatever music you want at that time. Music that's uplifting. That's going to help bring you up. That's going to help bring you out. Go outside for a little while. Go sit somewhere. Go relax. Set yourself up. To be in the position. To clear your thoughts. To go and erase all the negative thoughts and choose to listen to the positive thoughts, y'all. So make sure you don't be oppressed, depressed about it. Write about it. Alright, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Give me some feedback. Let me know how you feel about what I wrote. Or if, I mean, what I said, sorry. Or if you are someone that is experiencing that and you needed to hear that right now in this time. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And put on that post notification bell so that you can know whenever your girl Asia C posts. And don't forget to comment your black hearts down below. Why? Because we are the black heart gang over here, y'all. Love you.